All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a video talking about how to become a better producer and one way that I think you can really, really elevate your game, and that is making your favorite songs over again. So taking a song that you really, really enjoy and trying to remake it from scratch. This is an incredibly, incredibly valuable tool. Of course, um, you don't want to share this stuff and then brand it as your own. So um, this is just, I uh, I recently lost all of my electronic music files. I don't have any of my projects anymore, so I haven't started anything new yet. And so this project is from a rock song that I was learning how to make, which is um, a uh, let's see. Kisoku Band, Planet is the song. It's not in Bochi the Rock yet. <laughs> because I think if a season two ever comes out, it'll be in that. But they released the song anyway. That Besides that, different story. Um, and so um, I've been trying to learn how to make rock music because I've been learning how to play the guitar because I really want to in incorporate that in my electronic music. Why I'm making this video is because I want to share with you that remaking songs is a great way to improve. So there's a few little tricks that I used in here that I wanted to share with you guys that will help you become better producers. But first, I want to talk about why you would remake a song. And essentially why you'd remake a song is um, you're going to learn a lot when you listen to a song and you have ears to hear certain things. So when you're just listening to a song for fun, you know, when you're working, doing your homework, whatever, you're not listening very, very, very carefully to every single sound that they're implementing. Whereas if you sit down and you're in FL Studio, Ableton, whatever program you use, and you're going in with the intention to remake a song, you start hearing all of those little things. You hear you know, the different balance in the hi-hats. You hear the way that multiple kicks were layered on top of each other. You, you hear different chord progressions, different bass progressions that you can get inspiration from. And that's why I think it's so important is because when you replicate that, you start to learn all of these little tricks that these professional producers were using. And it's incredibly, incredibly valuable. Of course, you don't want to, you know, publish this stuff and rebrand it as original work. So usually when I do these remakes for the most part this one is an exception i happen to share this on youtube because i pitched it down uh just for the sake of i knew i was going to share it on youtube as a cover um but obviously it's a cover you don't want to share this stuff as like an original song right because that's just stealing somebody else's work so um i just use it as practice whenever i do this i usually don't upload them but they are really fun to make so uh i wanted to talk about a l few things here and there um, that's basically was the main topic for this video is to go out there, remake your favorite songs, listen to how close you got with them and, uh, just have fun doing it. And so I want to, um, well, now that I think about it, unfortunately, I can't play the original song because I'm going to get copyrighted, but I will play uh, a section of the drop here. So the main reason I did this was because I didn't know how to make um, rock drums. I, I, I've i only made EDM my whole life, so I had no idea how to make drums when it comes to acoustic sounding things. And so that was the whole reason I made this song. And uh, I learned a lot from doing it, especially um, just different styles of using the crash and the hi-hats and all that. So if I mute all of my instrument... Um, tabs here we're gonna get uh the original sound of the drums which i think um turned out pretty good for what i was going for so this is what the drums sound like by themselves <laughs> and essentially how i did that was i was just kind of um layering snares on top of each other and acoustic drums really have a harsh mid to them unlike um you know if i'm to go in my sample library uh, i'm sure i have some snares somewhere in here you can see edm drums they have a uh, really 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 punchy sound to them but there's not a lot of bass in them whereas a snare drum 
like a real one, you can see it's very different. Very different sounding. Not as high in the transients and a lot more mid and bass to them. And so I wanted to learn how to do that because I think that that sound would be really cool when it's mixed in with drum and bass. And so uh, that was the whole reason I made this. And I learned a lot from doing it, especially when it comes to balancing acoustic instruments. Like I have all of these um, guitars that I uh, basically learned how to stack on top of each other by using contact. Uh, so we have this sound. <laughs> Granted, had I used a real guitar, I think it would have been better, but really what carries this song is the two basses. They are the, by far the loudest thing. Oh, what was that? And so I just wanted to share that because um, this is a really great way to get better. You can do this, obviously, with any genre that you want. Go out there. Find a song that you really like. Try to remake it in as close detail as you possibly can. You don't have to share it anywhere. Nobody has to listen to it or anything like that. It's just for you to practice different skills and learn what good producers are doing and apply that to your own work later on. I guess that's it for this video. Just wanted to share that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial. See you later.